Uh, welcome to this tutorial and thank you for joining us for this quest for the ultimate Arduino code um, more or less. So so far we've gotten in parts one and two through kind of a basic button, a single button and we've showed you how to get different types of information. Now this has been repeated I think in some earlier videos so don't worry about that if you know that stuff you can probably skip most of this stuff but um, I made a few slight improvements so this is kind of the video now that oh, this part is where we it could probably f finish up really extend to as many buttons as we want and extend the same basic framework the same basic so we can get two types of data momentary and toggle data and we can vary the number of buttons we use we can vary the types of the pins that are in there and everything okay so we're gonna take this one step at a time and we're gonna take this basic code this is the same code we left with in part two and we're gonna take this basic code and sort of expand it all out Okay, now, so let's start. So this is going to be multiple buttons or all the buttons, as I say. So let's start now, and we're going to use this uh, C code uh, syntax here, and we're going to define a variable, so we can use it in our other variables. And we're going to we're going to go NB for number of buttons. Okay, and I have this rig again. I don't have my camera hooked up, but I'll show it to you at another date, which basically has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Okay, seven buttons in a row. All right, uh, and you see my cheat code here. That's basically the code for that. It's going to have n number button seven. All right. Now we're going to take all these variables and we're going to expand them out into something that will reflect this nb. Okay. So that's that code in there. All right. So first, the first thing is this is our pins. These are our uh, pins. Well, I should have comment commented these earlier, but these are our. Um, mm, Arduino input pin numbers. Okay, and let's just uh, make this buttons. Okay, and we were dealing with one button, so we had the button pin as number two. Okay, but now if we're dealing with multiple buttons, we're going to make an array, an array of all the pin numbers, so that way we can have they don't have to be contiguous. So I think that are in my previous, it's very similar to this tutorial. I didn't have this sort of, this is an added feature. So now I'm going to make an array of pins that allow me to use non-contiguous pins or any pins, whichever I want. So I can have two and then pin nine, digital pin nine, or whatever, especially for these pro micros that have various pins that can double up as either analog input or um, digital input. So this is a handy thing feature. Okay, so I'm going to make an integer array and the way we would do this is we'll call these um, we'll call these button pins BP, and then we're just going to put these square brackets that makes it an integer array. Okay, and then we can just declare that. So another thing that would be handy is just to put the 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 number of units in there to declare that. So we'll have the NB. So it'll be uh, uh, an array of array of integers, seven long because NB is seven, right? Because I have seven buttons. And then to to in in Arduino, I guess it's space and C. You need these. Java's the same. You need these curly brackets instead of the square brackets. I don't know why they do it that way. But curly brackets for um, your your array. Okay. And then you got to make sure there's seven values in there if you want to go ahead and declare and um, define your values initially. Okay. Uh, I don't have to put the values in, but I like to do it. Oh, well, I have to in this case because it's our pins. So here I have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 16, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 16. 6, 7, and 16. Did I get that right? I thought there was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so almost all contiguous. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 16. So these are my input pins that I use. So again, you see the point of this. So you can use any non-contiguous pins just as long as they're uh, in this array but they'll still be referred to later on in our code as pin number zero one two three so you're just going to say look up the look up the unit look up the pin number that's in slot number zero or then slot number one slot number two not number three and that will be in the case of three if i right but it can still be referred to as uh, an ordered set okay so hopefully simple concept but hopefully that helps now we're going to do the same process with each of these so we're going to go ahead and make this 
B gate, and I'll just shorten these to BG. Okay, and then we'll make this an array of trues. True, and then true. Oops, still in all caps. And then I'll just copy and paste that. We need seven of them all together. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna have a, an array of trues there, right? And these are a momentary. Okay, and this is our toggle button. Button bears. Okay, and so we need this btog value, so we'll just call it btv. And we'll take away the tog, you know what those in. Okay, and so we need an array of zeros. Oh, and same with this. Let's just go NB for all these, okay? I don't know why that helps. I think it's maybe more easier on the memory. I don't know what it is. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put those in curly brackets and just a whole array of zeros, seven of them. Zero. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Okay, and then B togs them out. So now this can be variable too, so that's kind of handy as well, right? Well, we'll I call it BTMT. Okay, and you know, so you can have different, depending on the buttons, you can have different toggle amounts, right? So why don't I go ahead and just copy this one over because it'd be very similar. Copy that array over. And don't forget the MB there. And let's make most of them just a two two toggle button, but let's maybe make the, oh, I don't know, the last one there, a 10, just so we can have some variation. Second last one, say seven. And the other ones will just make app single toggles. So, you know, you toggle, it stays on, you toggle off, it goes off. Okay, like a true toggle button. All right, and then same thing with these BTOG, we'll call these BTG, just for economy's sake, and B. And then this is a, a, a list of trues as well, so we can just copy those. Okay, list of trues. All right, so there we go. So basically we had the same type of um, uh, variables, except we've made arrays out of each of them so they can, they can be for any number of buttons. So it, it's not like nothing to do, but you know, it takes you about five minutes. So depending on what kind of buttons, how many buttons you have, uh, and how many uh, which pins they're connected to you know you just have to alter this code so you save this as a template save a copy for each of your different sort of rigs that you've made if you have a three button rig then you you know change these to three it'll take you five minutes to delete or add or paste and copy x uh, amount of numbers and but it gives you that flexibility so you can have you know any number of um, buttons and then you can have different toggle amounts etc etc okay now, uh, do we have to do anything with setup? I don't think so. Okay, so now is here. So the two main techniques here we're using, programming techniques, are using arrays and then using for loops to iterate through the array. So we're just going to do that over and over again. If you've watched any of my previous tutorials, it's a technique I use continuously. All right. So the first bit we have to iterate through is this pin mode, right? We have to set each of the pins, each of these, initially in our setup to this input pull up. Okay, so we're just going to iterate through a for loop. So we're just going to go four. And this is where the NB comes in really handy, the number of buttons. We're going to int i equals zero. And then we'll go i is less than the number of buttons, right? Now in Java, you can just say like, you can you can get the array size. You can say bp.size or bp.length. Uh, in C, I guess, you can't. So you have to have this fixed number. So that's why that's very handy, okay? And then we'll go I plus plus. Okay, if you don't know for loops, you can go look that up. Or I think at some point I have some video that talks about that. Some of my processing ones. Uh, I don't know if I talked about them explicitly just in one video. Anyways, easy enough to figure out. So for it's going to iterate through the number of buttons each time, um, updating this I variable. All right. And so very simply, we're going to go pin mode of the pin, whichever pin is going to go input pull up. So we just got to look up the pin. The, all our pin numbers are in this BP. BP button pin uh, array, and it'll just be PBI, right? So 
the first time it goes through I equals zero so BP zero will be two so then pin number two it'll communicate with our Arduino and set it to input pull up and then pin number three or BP uh, one will be three input pull up four etc etc through to BP six BP slot six because it starts from zero to slot six will be 16 so pin number 16 BP six is equal to the number 16 so just like here oh I erased the original the original pin mode pin 16 will be input pull up okay so it's the same kind of iteration I, I won't go into this detail uh, uh, as much all right now let's look at our buttons so basically we have to do the same kind of process through each of the little bits that we have here okay so if digital so we're gonna for loop everything we're gonna set a master for loop and it's gonna incorporate all our previous code all the way up to the delay right okay so right before the delay we're gonna have a closing bracket because that's gonna be our close for our for loop and right after the or right before the if statement we're gonna have the for loop and that's gonna be the exact same for loop as this one so why don't we just copy it I have copy there exact same for loop for int i number of buttons and then an opening curly here uh, you don't need the curly brackets if you put everything on one line it's just a shorthand okay but this this would be the same as if I did like this okay I can do like that too but as a shorthand uh, z, 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 z. okay you can put it all on one line but here we have multiple things to do so we're just going to put it in a master loop command T to straighten everything out so now we have our master and we can put a little thing buttons because we're going to add a different kinds of sensors later on. Okay, so number of buttons going to loop through and the number of buttons. Okay, so now we just have to uh, replace all our variables with some version of i. Okay, so uh, bp is still bp, right? And it's just going to be this exact same thing, bpi. So that each loop now, oops, that old caps lock is getting me every time now. So that each each loop is going to go through all seven pins. Now, you know, computers are so fast, it's not a big deal. We can easily handle going and looping through all these seven pins in 30 milliseconds. It's not a problem. Okay. And we're going to digital read and we're going to see if it's low. And again, same thing. We changed some of the thing names, so we just have to keep track. B gate is now BG. So we'll say if BG I. Okay. So I'm going to actually keep this in my back pocket. This it's quick because I'm going to repeat that over and over again, so I'll just copy that. So BGI equals false, and then now uh, we're going to do one more kind of fancy thing to make sure this is all lined up. We're going to use this print thing, so we're going to do serial print. It's just going to be the B now. First, have the B, then we're going to serial print. So we can have a, a variable number, right? We're going to print the, uh, now I think I have to change it to a string. Yes, string i. Okay. Uh, you can connect it all, but I'm just going to make a bunch of print lines to make it very explicit. And then I'll show you a, a connected version. Okay. BG print, and then we're going to print the, we have to convert it. I think you say string, right? Okay. So we have to convert the integer since i is an integer, right? i is an integer. We have to convert that s-t-r-i-n-g, s-t-r-i-n-g i okay so we're converting that i to a string okay and we're printing it as a string and then we're printing the the number one right isn't that right oh no we have to print a colon so serial dot print i'm going to print a colon because it's useful for parsing and splitting the strings you have a delimiter okay uh, and then it's going to print the one Okay, and this could look like all in one line. I'll just copy it here. It could look like this as well. The plus plus. Or just the plus, I guess. Plus plus is must super collide or something like that. Okay. Could look like that, but I'll just comment that one out. All right? Okay. So the print, 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 and then print line for the last one. All right? So that will give you a header, but it'll vary based on what I you're on. So you have a header based on each button, which is very nice. Okay, so moving on, moving forward, continuing on. So we have that right, we have the thing, yep. Yeah. The next thing is B tog gate, which we changed to B T G. So we'll just make that PTG. 
I don't know if that's still my clipboard. Nope. So BTG, and I'll copy that to my clipboard. Yeah, yeah, you know. If you're not doing this in real time, you can fast forward through some of this, obviously. But I think sometimes it's helpful to do it in real time. BTG. Okay, and BT Val. So I call it BT BTV. BTV. And then BT AMT, is that what it is? BT AMT. Of course, I, right? And then this thing is the exact same stuff here. So we'll just use this compact version okay, here. Uh, right, and we'll put that there. So it's going to be serial BT, though, because this is not just the button. This is the toggle BT, plus whichever. I it is plus the colon and then the actual value which we've changed to BTV. Okay, and then we just gotta go through BG, BG, go through here. Oops, oh gosh, all right, and just update all those bits here BG, BG, and get this line here. This is B because that's the momentary part and BTG. Ah. I guess it doesn't really help me to copy and paste. I might as well just type it and BTG. Okay. Ah, looks like we got everything. I think yeah. Uh, B toggles printed there. BTV. Well, hopefully it compiles unless I made some typos there. No, typos, typos, typos. From int, seven to long, unsigned int. Uh, maybe these aren't. I thought that that, that method worked, but ah. All right, okay, print. Okay, uh, here, I'm, I'll, I'll be right back. I forgot to update just these things. BTV here. In the toggle printout, it needs to be the BTVI because it's a um, right. It's it's an array now. It's not a single variable. Right. Uh, just make sure I didn't miss any of those. So it was just a typo. I just missed that. BTG, BTV, BTG. That should work. Hopefully. Ah, it does. Okay. Now let's upload that, and you'll see the wonder of this. Well, hopefully, it might not be that, that impressive. So if we go to serial monitor, and if I just toggle through my buttons. All right, my gate. Is broken somehow but I'll fix that in a minute uh, I get the one I get button one there button two button three button four my button two is not working for some reason but maybe I have the wrong pin in there and button six or maybe something's wrong with my hardware oh no there goes b2 v1 oh, it's just a bad connection five six okay and you see the BTs work too one zero BT all right we just made some kind of logical mistake I think I just uh, retransposed on the variables wrong so BTG BTBG BTV BTMT BT BTV one of the gates is messed up BG BTG uh, BTG is true BG true BTG false BG false okay well I won't put you through this transpositional mistake here in the toggle I just repeated BTG instead of BTV here. This needs to be the value. So the actual value, toggle value, is equal to the itself plus one. Again, by the DPT amount. So hopefully that's the main mistake I made. Sorry for dragging you through this, but just in case you were getting that code earlier, you don't want to be stuck with bad code. Okay, there you go. So I'm hitting five. And remember, that's the one with the seven amount here. So five. BT5 is 2, BT5 3, 4, 5, 6, and then back to 0. And then, but if I go to 2 or 1, the second button, which is 1, it is 1, 0, 1, 0, because its value is 2. So there we go. We got all our things and we have all our values. So we have two types of data from each of my seven buttons. Okay. Well, that feels very accomplished. I think, uh, I hope that that's useful to you. And just a quick review now. We took our previous code, which was just for one button, and then we expanded it, but in such a way that it's 
expandable and flexible and modular, right? It's using arrays and for loops to loop through a number of things. So if, if you make a rig, say, with four buttons, um, then you just have to change a few of these things. That would take you maybe five minutes, maybe to get really quick at it. And then you can just save that code as that thing for that rig you made. And then save, you know, have this template and then save it again for a rig that has 19 buttons or something like that. Maybe you have an Arduino Mega or something. Uh, right, so basically when you want to transform it, to change it, to uh, more customize it, you change the number of buttons you have. You change this to, it has to equal the same number of buttons. So if you do four, each of these have to have four values in them. And each of these values then will be the pin. So you can have non-contiguous pins. You can have it on pin 10 and then pin 4 and then pin uh, 16 and then pin whatever, you know, any order you want, just as long as they correspond to the, the buttons you think of as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then just update these with four trues instead of seven trues, four zeros instead of seven. The number of toggles, you can have one that toggles through 10 and another one toggles through 100 of them. Uh, toggle through two and you know change those to values and then just four trues there and then you're set save that as that thing rig upload it and then you'll never have to touch it again okay so it's not super complicated it's pretty simple yet it's very powerful you can do a lot with this again i have a whole nother series that i'll show you once we get this sort of ultimate stuff we'll show you how to parse it at least in super collider maybe a little bit in processing to get this data in okay well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, the next part, we're going to move into potentiometers to pots and some, something very, very similar. So I'll go a little bit quicker through that stuff. Um, okay, but I hope you enjoyed that.